Hey Scorpio, welcome to your early September 2021 love reading. Let's get straight into it. I've already done a pre-shuffle and from what I can see, you have a choice to make. The lovers in the reverse, two of wands in the reverse. This is going to be a very difficult decision. For some of you, um, this is saying that you can't yet see um, what you need. You don't have the information that you need to make a decision, two of wands in the reverse. Um, but also, I'm getting that there could be two distinct people that you need to choose from, okay? Um, I'm getting your person from the past uh, quite strongly coming through. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So someone who left you with a bad taste in your mouth. We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse and we have the King of Cups in the reverse. In total, that's 14 empty cups. I feel like this person left you feeling emotionally drained, emotionally exhausted. They... I feel like you gave them multiple chances and they rejected a new beginning in love with you on multiple occasions. That's what I'm getting from all of these empty cups. Um, and I feel like at one point they treated you like an option, seven of cups in the reverse. So that's what I'm getting. That's your strong, your past person coming through strongly. Let's see what else we can get for you. There's a new person that hasn't quite gotten off the ground yet. We have the um, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse next to the Page of Wands in the reverse. Someone's looking at you. I think this is your past person. We have the King of Wands looking at you. You're the Nine of Cups. So you represent their wish fulfillment, and that's Scorpio energy, the Nine of Cups, okay? So this person is looking at you, they're thinking, strategizing, hanged man in the reverse. But I feel like in the past they didn't put in enough effort. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, okay? So this person just didn't didn't take action. It led to break up, Five of Swords. Now you have trust issues with this person, full in the reverse. I also feel like for quite some time you haven't been ready to kind of entertain new people. Um, you've been kind of stuck as a result of this person who left you emotionally drained. Okay, so let's have a look. Who are you dealing with? Angels and Spirit, show me who is Scorpio dealing with in September 2021. That's my dog snoring. Who is Scorpio dealing with in September 2021? Yeah, Five of Cups. Someone who has a lot of regrets. Someone who misses you. Someone who was crying over spilt milk and should have just turned around and saw that there were two cups in the upright position. This person was quite destructive. I'm getting destructiveness around this person. Maybe a little bit of depression as well. Show me who is Scorpio dealing with in early September 2021. Someone wanting to come in and fight for this connection. We have the seven of wands here. So this is like a defensive energy. Someone defending, protecting this connection, fighting for it. Um, Yeah, definitely someone coming back around we have the eight of cups in the reverse okay more empty cups there's so many empty cups here I've lost count it's almost like how can there be anything left after this like it's, it's almost like there's so much water under the bridge is what I'm seeing here but I feel like both of you have held on to this connection quite tightly four of pentacles Maybe secretly. You were secretly holding on to this person despite everything that has happened. And there's still a hope that you'll be able to um, move through the turmoil into more peaceful times. You know, overcome all of the, that water. You know, interesting. There's so much emotion here. 
and wasted emotion. All right, so, so who else are we dealing with here, please? Angels and spirit, show me. Scorpios, people of interest, person of interest. Show me the other people in September 2021, please. Angels and spirit, show me. Definitely getting strong earth for some of you. Who is Scorpio dealing with in September 2021? All right, we have someone who's insecure, someone who's lacking confidence, but who wants to come in and claim you or get victory with you, get success with you. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse next to the Six of Wands. Again, we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like this person may have um, been at a distance from you. Maybe they went away to kind of... Uh, clear their head, um, gain some perspective, sort through things in their life. Six of Swords. Um, I'm getting travel. This, this person could definitely have been at a distance, even with the Six of Wands. You know, this is an energy of someone who has gone off and, you know, fought a battle and then they're coming back victorious. So I feel like this person is coming back to you Six of Swords and Eight of Wands to tell you that they tried to move on from you. They tried to get over you, but they still have strong desire. And no matter how much they try and avoid this connection, they can't. Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, both in the reverse. They can't move on from this. They still have you on their mind all the time six of cups in the reverse again look at all those empty cups i feel like at one stage the two of you had so much feeling for each other maybe it was all too overwhelming when you have so many cups and they're all spilled um i feel like with this seven of cups in the reverse Literally, this person had no choice but to come back and try and set things right, okay, with the Six of Cups in the reverse. Um, they, they weren't willing to kind of leave things where they were. They didn't end on a very good note. They left you with a sour taste in your mouth, a bitter taste in your mouth. And now they want to restore the happiness and joy that, that once was with this Three of Cups. You know, this is a card about reunions, celebrations. You might be receiving an invitation from this person. Um, yeah, they don't want to leave it on such a sour note is what I'm feeling, okay? But again, I'm getting a new energy on the scene as well with this Three of Cups, now, this person could also say, you know, let's start off as friends. But I'm definitely getting you, you're going to be um, struggling to make a decision because this card has come out again, the two of wands in the reverse, indecision, not having enough information um, or clarity to reach a decision, but also... I feel like there's another energy that you're considering here. Page of Wands in the reverse. Someone new who you may have been getting to know. But with the Page of Wands in the reverse, I feel like when this old person comes back on the scene, it kind of throws a spanner in the works and you kind of lose a bit of enthusiasm for this new person. That's what I'm getting from the Page of Wands in the reverse. And it throws you into a state of Seven of Pentacles contemplation. You know, you're not knowing where to invest. This is a card about investment. You know, um, plowing the fields, sowing the seeds. And you're like, looking back, but then, you know, for you, it might be looking forward because it, you, you're getting the reversed here. See how it's kind of like, do I look back or do I look forward? There's a lot of indecision 
you don't know where where to invest your energy again you've got look you've got like a very similar face um one in one image looking back and in one image it's looking forward and I, I feel like these two represent your two options. So you've got an earth sign strongly and you have an air sign strongly, okay? One person around you is going to want to move really quickly and the other person is more of a slow and steady wins the race. So very, very um, polar opposite energies that you, you have to choose from. Here is more indecision. We have the two of swords. You have the star card, which is really, really interesting. It, it tells me that you've done a lot of healing. Part of you did hold out hope that this past person would come back and now your wish has been granted and the stars have aligned. You've done your inner healing work. But I'm also feeling like you're resistant to let this past person back in because you don't want to undo all of that healing work. You, you do have um, questions. See how we have a blindfold here? You are going to have a million and one questions for this person um, from your past. You're going to want to understand what happened so that there's not a repeat performance. You're going to want to know everything that may have possibly been hidden from you because we have the moon card in this particular card. So you feel like there are things that you don't know. There are things that need to be uncovered before you can decide. Yep, the moon in the reverse. Secrets are going to come to light. You know, things are going to be dredged up from the darkness from the past things you know i'm getting a light is going to be shone upon some things that were hidden from you we have the judgment in the reverse a lack of forgiveness this could possibly be a fear with the moon card of of again dredging the past back up or or resurrecting something for it to just end the way that it did before we have the ace of wands in the reverse next to the king of wands i'm gonna to have to clarify that i feel like at the start you are going to want to establish a friendship only. There's going to be no hanky-panky with the Ace of Wands in the reverse because you want to know that this King of Wands from your past has good intentions before you go there again. You've got Virgo energy with the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician here. You've got Aries energy with the Emperor. I feel like that's the same person. This person from your past knows that they are going to have to put up a good fight. We have the Five of Wands here. This is competition. And I feel like this is who they're competing against. This Earth energy. Okay. I feel like the earth energy that you're dealing with, possibly a Virgo, has their life in order. I feel like they're very goal-oriented, um, they're reliable, they're consistent. Angels and spirits, show me. What does Scorpio need to know about this new person? What does Scorpio need to know about the new person, please? In September 2021 what does Scorpio need to know okay I feel like the new person is waiting for you to close out this cycle I also feel like there could be distance um, like physical distance between you and this new person yeah the two of wands is here as well and so 
I do feel like um, at the moment there's not a lot of contact for whatever reason with the new person. The new person's waiting for an opportunity or um, an opening to kind of move things to the next level. They're, they're waiting for you to end a cycle. And there could be distance there. Okay, so let me see. What else do I need to know about the new person? What does Scorpio need to know about the new person in love in September 2021, please? Look, strong earth energy. This person's really nurturing, practical. Again, I'm getting at a distance. Six of Swords. Now, there could be travel, some kind of movement for you in September, Scorpio. What I'm getting from this Queen of Pentacles and this Six of Swords is this person represents someone that you can see a future with. You can see smooth sailing with this person, okay? Whereas this past person, it could have been very passionate, there was a lot of desire, but... The two of you just couldn't get it together is what I'm getting. So what does Scorpio need to know about the past person in September 2021? What does Scorpio need to know about the past person, please? You've got the strength in the reverse. Feel like um, the lion in the strength card represents the wild nature of this connection, and the two of you just couldn't contain it or get it under control. You know, the woman in the strength card represents taming the lion. So there are a lot of animalistic desires, maybe fears in this connection that got the better of the both of you. And I feel like control was an issue from this past person. I think that's come up in your recent reading, Scorpio. Control was an issue. Like one person wanted to be in control, wanted to have the upper hand all of the time. And it was because of a lack of confidence. It was because of a lack of courage is what I'm getting from the strength in the reverse. Show me what else... I feel like um, this past person is going to need a lot of courage to, to fight for this connection this month. And they know it. Yeah, okay. In the past, you weren't able to stabilize that connection. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse. So it lacked a solid foundation. The two of you just couldn't lay a solid foundation. Um, and in what makes a solid relationship? Things like loyalty, trust, communication, all of those essential ingredients need to be there to stabilize a connection. And we have the Justice in the reverse. There could have been an imbalance. This is Libra energy, but, you know, think of balance like the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine, um, and give and take. Something was skewed. It was not, you know, even. It wasn't fair, okay? So that needs to be righted if you, you choose to kind of return to the past person. But that leads me to my next question. What is the advice for Scorpio, please? Oh, judgment just fell out. Second chances, resurrection. Let's have a look. Angels and spirit, please show me. What is the advice for Scorpio in love in early September 2021? What is the advice for Scorpio in early September 2021, please? Don't be the one that has to fix it. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. What I'm getting from this, Scorpio, is that you need to allow this past person and the new person to kind of prove themselves. Who's going to be 
dedicated to the cause? Who's going to put in the effort? Because you, Scorpio, always um, are so devoted to your person. You throw everything into your relationships, sometimes to your detriment. You need to allow people to show you what they're willing to do to commit to you. Wow, okay, so for advice, you've got the star. That is the need to stay positive, optimistic, and keep the faith. Um, you also have the magician. Be mindful of your thoughts because you're going to get what you focus on this month. So focus on what you want, not what you fear. What I'm also getting is it's you that is in the decision-making seat this month. Whenever I see the magician in the upright, it's you that will be the decision-maker. You know, it'll be your will um, that determines this situation. Now, I'm getting with the infinity symbol, you're, going, you're challenged to break a cycle, okay? Um, you're going to need to... Take a leadership role and do something differently if you want a different outcome. But you have all of the tools at your disposal this month, Scorpio. You have the coin, you have the sword, you have the cup, you have the wand. Utilize it um, to bring about your desired outcome. Now we've got strong air sign energy again and strong earth energy. So Virgo here with the Eight of Pentacles, Aquarius... Virgo or Gemini with the Magician and we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles as advice is to get to know someone, communicate. Um, you know, this is the initial stages of attraction. It's, it's the getting to know you process. So ask questions get to the bottom of what is someone's agenda, what, what is the person's intentions towards you. And that's going to be the basis of your decision. So I feel like this Knight of Wands in the reverse is offering you a new beginning in love. The Knight of Wands in the reverse is always someone who's been in and out, but more out than in. Someone who's been inconsistent. Someone who wasn't really committing to you in the past with this hierophant in the reverse there could be some a, a different lifestyle that could have gotten in the way of your connection in the past you know the hierophant talks about tradition convention values when it's in the reverse i feel like some of your values and lifestyles could have been at odds with each other um but we have the justice card so i feel like this is the potential for this connection to come back into balance for an injustice to be righted or corrected, um, a truth is going to come to light, um, justice will be served, you know, karmic justice will be served in this connection, okay? Definitely seeing um, you struggling to make a decision here, again with this Two of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords, sorry, the King of Swords next to the Nine of Swords. So I feel like this person was very much up in their head. Maybe they've been thinking about you for quite some time. It's been weighing heavily on their mind. Um, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this is the same person. Um, they could have had some money issues and I'm getting family and friends interfering with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. But this person has some insecurities, financial and general insecurities um, around this person. I feel like um, you have the ability to manifest a relationship this month. We have the four of wands here. So taking things to the next level. Um, and I feel like you'll make the right decision. We have the six of wands, which is victory. Okay. I'm not really getting a clear indication of 
your, your past person is figuring more strongly in, in your cards, I must say. Let's see what the romance angels are saying. What are the messages for Scorpio in love in September 2021, please? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Scorpio need to know in love in September 2021. Passion and clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Definitely I'm getting that this past person kept a lot of secrets during your time apart. There's things that you need to know in order to make your decision. Distance. This is long distance here. All right, let's see what other messages we can get. Angels and Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know in love in early September 2021, please? A truth revealed. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What does Scorpio need to know in love in early September 2021? Someone else. I feel like that's the other person, the new person for you. You've got someone from your past interested in knowing what you've been up to. It says, I know you're focusing on other things and it makes me curious about what you're doing. So you're... Coming across as quite mysterious, Scorpio, quite um, focused on your own goals, and that makes you very attractive. Don't force it. Angels and spirit, what else does Scorpio need to know? You are more than enough. Spirit wants you to master self-love. What else does Scorpio need to know in love in... September 2021. Travel. I told you there's travel this month. Even if it's a short trip, I'm seeing that. Or someone could be traveling to see you. We've got, this is not a time to play it safe. It's a time to take a leap of faith. Um, yeah, you've got someone protecting or defending this connection and willing to fight. This person has been working out what to do, what to say, and how to do it. This person, I feel, has given up on searching for someone to get over you because this person is saying, when I get attention from others, it does nothing for me except boost my ego. I'm growing up. I'm stepping away from, from all of that because it's no longer important to me. And you've got, you can't yet see what's ahead. Trust the process and change. Trust the process of change and growth. All right, Scorpio. Well, I'm going to continue this in the extended. I'm going to do more advice from, for you from the simple love advice. I'm going to get messages from the unicorns. We'll continue with the tarot and some other oracles to hopefully make your choice easier. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.